Hey everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you love my content, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell down below so you never miss another walk around video. All right, today I'm super excited and you can see that my surroundings are usually not where I would be starting with the walk around. I like to start outside and show you the exterior of the coach, but this one is just so killer that I wanna get right to the meat and potatoes of it and show you the layout of this 25 foot class A. That is right. now. That's sales layman's terms. I would really say it's 25 foot and eight inches true length, but it is one of the smallest class A's on the market. I have done a video on a different layout from this, um, from this floor plan before, or a different floor plan from this company before. It was the Axis a couple months ago and it took off. Everybody loves these tiny class A's. So today I wanna to show you probably the most popular layout for the Thor Axis. This is the 24.1. So start, we'll start in the back because this is really the what gets people this entire rear is, is beds, right? So you have two twin beds. If you're arguing with your spouse or if you're on a road trip with your best friend and you do not want to be next to each other, you can keep this on this side with the cup holders. It's a little harder um, and that will keep you separate from each other. There's a TV on the left side there that will swing out, which is pretty nice. I know that's a hard angle for you, Alex, thank you. Lots of windows that open up for a cross breeze and you do have tons of storage up top and look they've put gas struts here so it's easy to get in and out of um what i love about this is you have the option to add this piece right in the middle as well so check this out now i've got the entire length of the back of the coach which is almost eight feet wide and we've got a pretty good amount of space sleeping this way so i'm five two how many gabby's could fit in this bed like four like one two three four maybe five if we really wanted to be close um but yeah, so that's the back of the 24.1. So this is a killer. This is the number one reason people choose this floor plan, this floor plan, excuse me, because it's just got this great bed in the back that you can get comfortable and it's not a corner bed. It's not a Murphy bed for such a short motorhome. I know that's what you get a lot in these. Right in the middle here next to your fridge is gonna be a bit of storage. You have a hanging shelf. That is your um, ladder for your drop down bunk and your table for between the drivers and passengers chairs which do swivel around and then you have two drawers here as well for storage and they go pretty deep that's a good amount of storage you could roll up t-shirts and jeans and things like that now there's some drawers underneath there if you make a little reading area you know nightstand kind of thing there's some drawers in there for books and stuff like that what's going to be hard for me to show you with alex is going to be this bathroom i guess come on that side for me alex we'll do it like that so this door opens and magnetizes here and this is your bathroom okay so super bright because of the overhead um skylight you have a porcelain foot flush toilet so that's good and you do have a toilet paper holder somebody commented on one of my other videos this morning and said i can't wait till they come out with a toilet paper holder for this model and i looked at the video and i was like oh they don't have one that's awkward so this is in a good spot not too far away it's not on the door i know some people really hate the toilet paper roller on the door now i step in the shower here this is probably the tightest part of this motorhome it's very small i'm not gonna lie to you um i'm five two i'm almost to the top of the curtain and probably six foot would be the max in here. So if you're super tall, the access is gonna be difficult for you because there is a pretty big step up into the shower. Um, you've got the regular curtain instead of the glass. So I do question how much of the water is gonna get on the floor during a shower. Um, but you have a shower miser on board. So if you're going somewhere where you're gonna fill your fresh water tank and you wanna save uh, fr fresh water, I do ha I have a video coming out on that feature and benefit right uh, there. So that one is great. It'll save up to 40% of your fresh water tank. This will change color, indicating you're ready to take a nice hot shower. So if you wanna check out more information on the shower miser, that is in my other videos. Um, this is interesting. Let me just take that from you for a second, Alex. Everybody say, hey, Alex. Hello. <laughs> so right here is gonna be, you can actually open this door and I'm gonna close Alex in the bedroom for a second. So this is what you're looking at when you want like full privacy, if you want those doors open. It definitely opens up the bathroom space quite a bit. You've got your um, sink at an angle, it's perpendicular to your toilet, which is kind of interesting. And then you do have this little uh, medicine cabinet 
and down below is going to be a little bit of storage. I don't know. You have to get a really thin trash can for that. But thank you, Alex. Are you comfortable back there? Very. <laughs> I'm being honest. All right. We'll head back this way, and then I'll pass the camera back to you. Thank you. All right. Electric fridge. Check this out. It's pretty large. It's Dometic, so nice and deep here. If you can show them, I can stick my arm all the way, all the, almost all the way in. So. I had a customer yesterday, she really likes drinking iced tea and her husband really likes orange juice and she was like, this little gas electric fridge, Gabby, it does nothing for me. I can barely fit anything in it. We were in a Melbourne. Um, and so this is great, this electric fridge. You do have a inverter on board and you also have a solar panel on board standard. It's a 190 watt panel. Um, so between those two, the solar will not run your fridge. It will trickle charge the battery, which can run the fridge for a short period of time but I will not lie to you and tell you, oh, you can go off, off, you can go off, off grid and completely boondock in this thing. Yeah, you know, those typical salespeople. Um, whatever it takes to get the deal. Not here, folks, not here. I'll lose the deal if I have to tell you the truth. By the way, we're in Castleberry, Florida at Orlando RV by Blue Compass. <laughs> All right, so kitchen space in here. Pretty good amount of counter space, I would say. You've got a pull faucet that you can wash your dishes with. You have this nice big round sink. That's a pretty nice feature in that. I do like that it's stainless steel. It's not plastic. It's not tiny. I can actually put a pot in there to soak if I have to. Two burner propane cooktop, and then you've got your um, convection microwave down below. Now, some people ask me, why is the microwave so low? If you're going down the road, your husband's driving, you're, you're heating up a, I, I take forever to drink my coffee. So reheating a cup of coffee, how much easier is it for you to pull it out from underneath? while you're driving, instead of risking pulling it out while you're driving and it shakes and it pours hot coffee all over you. So that is one good reason for the microwave. The other reason is because this is where the oven should go. It acts like an oven and now you have more storage up above your kitchen for your um, canned goods, your spices, your dry goods, your dishes, whatever you want to put up there. So that's your kitchen. Pretty nice. Whoop, pull that up and then close it before I break something. You do have a garbage can in there already that they provide you, which is really nice. And real quick, I'll show you how this comes down because I know some people are always pulling at it. Lift up and then push those, those handles in and it comes right down super easy. So there you go, so you don't break anything when you're poking around. Um, BM Pro system here, it is a touchpad that controls your lights, your slides, your awning, uh, your climate control, so your AC, what super, your, sta your stabilizer jacks. What's super neat about this is you can download an app on your phone. You can control your lights and your slide outs and your awnings from your phone. If one of you decides to go into town to pick something up or you go to the campground to maybe wash up and the other person is setting up camp, you can go out there and stand and watch as your slide out comes out and do it yourself. You don't have to be shouting at each other from inside and outside like, you're good, you're clear, wait, stop, 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 crunch. Um, up front on the axis, not a huge fan of this jump. I know some people um, hate it. It does give you more headroom for taller folks in the rest of the cab, that's why they do it, um, instead of flat leveling the floor so that everything is yay high. So that's the benefit of it, but um, personally I just don't like the step in here. Now, this is where your table would go. Okay, so up front here you have your driver and passenger seats that do swivel around, which is really nice. They are both manual, um, but they'll lock in place so you can spend time with the family in here. You can watch TV from this angle. I don't know if we showed the TV earlier is next to the BM Pro system. I do think that TV pulls out and swivels. We can check it in a minute, but t table will go here. And there's also a place for a table where Alex is standing right in front of the couch there. Um, nice big center screen, right? Your, your cameras are on here. Your, you should have Apple CarPlay and uh, Android, Auto. Android Auto. Thank you, sorry, I'm an Apple girl. You can see the Apple Watch. Um, and then You've got this nice table here. So our rep actually said that somebody takes their sewing machine and they sew on the road. I don't know how, I don't know how they do it. That's a lot of skill and talent. I can barely sew when I'm not moving, but um, it is a pretty strong table. It's not like some of them pull out and they don't like really lock in place. So this is a nice good, it's got a pretty good grip. Now I closed this shade to give you um, a little less light in here so you can actually see me, but this is the beautiful windshield. This is why Thor, like this is why the axis is popular, right? I'm, I'm under 26 feet in length, but I have this beautiful view of the United States as I'm driving, right? I don't have the cab overhead that's blocking my view. I don't have that smaller, like U-Haul kind of feel when you get in a class C. Um, so that is beautiful. 
and that nightshade is power. I just picked it up because it was easier. And then you've got these curtains that are uh, manual that you would slide over for privacy, closing you up in your coach, right? So that is great, love that. Overhead bunk here. Let's see, did they update it? So it is now uh, still 250 pounds. I know that some of them are moving to 800 pound bunks, but I don't know if the Axis is one of them. This is a 2023 model, so we'll have to see when the 24s come in. But uh, this is the 250 pound bunk. So that will come down. It's on an electric motor and it comes halfway down. There's a net in the back and it's super nice. So you can have the kids up there. Uh, two kids can fit up there nicely. And then there is a protecting barrier ink so that they don't fall out. Okay, so next is gonna be, hey, I wanna bring six, seven, eight people. I've got a big family, but we just don't wanna go too big because we wanna get in national parks, right? So this 24.1 has this trifold sofa that's gonna come with it that actually pulls out for a big, a big sleeping area, which if you had multiple adults on board, you could fit two families in this motorhome because you've got that big bed in the back. Maybe two adults with a young child share that. You have this up here for one or two adults or kids, maybe, one adult, one kid. I don't know about that weight capacity. And then there's your other bed. So nice big bed. I could fit three Gabbies across this bed. Um, so this is pretty good. I like that. And then there's a table. There's a table in the back. You can see it. That sits um, between it for when you're eating. And that was fairly easy to put together. You can see that they have seat belts in every seating position. So you're going to be safe going down the road in the Thor axis. These come in first and then you use your knee. It closes right up. Awesome. So overall, I think that pretty much covers the, thank you, Alex. I think that pretty much covers the interior of the axis. Um, so let's go outside and we'll check out the exterior. All right, guys, so now we're standing outside of the 24.1 axis that I said just came in last week. You can see it still has the, um, the lettering, the numbering from the factory here. Now, neat little feature that it looks like they've made mid-model change. This, this axis here that I did the video of a couple months back, it has got almost like a yellowish tint to it. I would say it's more like a beige tan. And then this one is more like a gray white. So it's an off white, but it's not the typical color of an exterior of a, of a motorhome. Like it's just, I think it looks a little sleeker. What do you think? Looks good, right? Uh, you still got, like I said, beautiful large windshield up front. You got like, almost look like a big bug going down the road, but like in the best way, cause it's taking you on the trip of a lifetime. Um, mirrors are chrome. I love that, no black matte mirrors. I don't know if we can hear that airplane flying by, but I'll give it a second. All right, the plane is gone, so now we can continue. So chrome mirrors, which are really nice and clean. You've got your side view camera, which I really like this. If you zoom in close, Alex, there's an eyelash on these cameras to protect it from water getting on the lens. So you can still see when you put your blinker on if you're driving down the road and it's raining. Now, this is considered an RVU, a recreation, or RUV, recreational utility vehicle, right? So even it's on a class C chassis, it's disguised as a class A. Your tires are gonna be 16 inch tires down here. So you are still sitting on a smaller box, which is just gonna give you that feel of like not being too overwhelming. If you want that class A drive, like the feel of that windshield, but you, you're scared to drive a class A because it's just big and tall and bulky, this is a perfect size coach for you, that in between there. And it's also really short, so you can get into all the parks easily. It's really nice. Um, Thor does a great job with their warranties. They've got a one year on the interior limited build. You've got a six year on the lamination of the sidewalls um, and a 12 year on the structure itself. This um, awning, I thought I had to keep, I thought I could let go of the button. It was being a little weird earlier, but I, I think you can press it and let it go and it opens out all the way. I only stopped it this far because we've got the access next to us, but LED light strip up top there. Um, you can see all your windows are frameless, so nice and clean. Right here is gonna be two ports for plugging in maybe a mini fridge or something, a TV if you bring it along. You have this little bit of storage out here. It's kind of long, so maybe like chairs that fold up in you know, the circular ones you take to the beach or um, umbrellas, so stuff like that. Your hoses could fit in here. And I don't want to forget that it is upfitted by MoRide, the chassis, same company that upfits your um, emergency vehicles on the road. MoRide. MoRide. What? M-O-R-R-Y-D-E, MoRide, not MoRide. Well, I Mo call Rad it MoRide. MoRide, Mo, <laughs> Mo, Mo Prop, no. MoRide, less problems. <laughs> All right, back here is probably, again, 
second biggest feature why people choose the Axis 24.1, and I really appreciate Alex's effort to dive into there and show you. This storage, guys, is massive. And look, this is new, Alex. It's got a new clip. So instead of it being the clip that could pull off the plastic clip, Boom. that's nice. It's like a different, sorry about the tree here. I feel like we're in the jungle. Um, but the magnets, you've got this clip. So big amount of storage. Um, I'm not going to do it now because I got the mic on and I don't want to mess up my hair and everything, but you could fit two or three Gabbies across the storage bay for sure. A uh, ladder gets you up to the roof to check your caulk. Definitely check that out regularly so you don't have any roof leaks. And your, yeah. And then your bumper here, just in case, just in case you back into a fire hydrant or something, you have a little bit of play so that it's not damaging the fiberglass, the rear cap. All right. There's another door to get to that storage here, which is great. On the camping side, you have your generator down here. Oh, look at that. We've got the new generator. So we've got the flex power generator here. So um, you might see this in the industry, the shift from the Cummins to the um, flex, what is it? Flex power. I've heard that they were coming. I haven't really seen too many yet, but um, I think it was an issue of Cummins having trouble keeping up with the demand. These are supposed to be just as good as your Cummins. Um, they did a lot of research before making this decision. So we will, we will see what you say, folks. Comment down below if you have experience with a flex power generator. I am curious. Uh, fuel fill is here. I will put down below how big the tanks are. I don't know off the top of my head, I'll be honest. Uh, you have your black tank flush and your 30 amp. It is a 30 amp unit, which is really nice. It's not a 50. You can go a lot of places with that 30 amp. And then you have your TV uh, input right here for cable. You've got a city water connection, outside shower, and here is gonna be your, did you hear my knee crack? Um, here's gonna be the back of one of your tanks, it looks like. So I don't know why I have that access pat, a port, unless it's for a uh, mechanic, I guess. That's a little bit bizarre, or a technician to get to. Slide out is gonna have the slide topper. I will mention that they do use a Schwintex slide out system. Now I normally talk about the Schwintex and I tell you guys, they're fine for wardrobe slides, they're fine for bed slides. They're not good for heavy duty kitchen dining slides. So what's on this is gonna be your couch, which is okay. It should function ju just perfectly, no issues. Just be sure with the Schwintex, you're pressing and holding that button and you allow the slide to come in and hold it for another three to four seconds to allow the motors to realign. Otherwise, if you're not doing that, it can bring them out of sync and then you're gonna have some slide out issues. So that is great. I love how many windows are on this thing for such a small coach. Um, and then right here on this side is gonna be another little access bay. You've got some fuses here and then you have a little bit more storage. And I think down below here, there's two little, um, there's gotta be a, where's my water? Like my wet bag, right? There's your propane. I guess that one would be it. That's locked. I don't have the key, so I can't even open it. But that is interesting, Gabby. All right. And I guess that about does it. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. This has been the 24.1 Thor Axis with that twin bed in the back. Super excited about this model. I think it'll sell quick. And thank you so much for watching my channel. Until next time, happy camping.